What's up guys, welcome back. And a few things have changed, nothing major, but the I just put an extra carriage on the oil train, so it now has three, if I zoom out in this window, you can see it has three there. And also, a lot of the roads have changed colour. I'm guessing we've gone into the new road system. Like for example, this highway was brown a minute ago. So I think at 1878 we got a brand new set of roads or something. Yeah, they're definitely different. Oh, we got an even smaller street now. 10 miles an hour. Wow, that's still faster than London. Right, what are we doing today? Well, I do want to focus a lot on the fuel line. I want to at least get another train on there. So we'll have two. Because that fuel line will make us a lot of money. I'm almost certain of that. Uh, but the only thing is, we cannot really afford it right now. But the money is definitely building up faster than it was before. Because it only took me a month to buy the carriage, the uh, extra tanker for the oil train. So that's definitely good. So I'm guessing the thing to do is to wait and build up some money essentially. And another thing is, putting more trains on the Cypress Flat fuel line will also mean that these lines here, the RF fuel lines, will start making us a profit. Uh, I should rename that one to LS uh, Fuel. That's Yule. There's an F somewhere in there. LS Fuel one. Makes more sense, doesn't it? Yeah, but having more trains on there will mean that these lines here can become profitable as well. Which will definitely, definitely be a good thing. Right, how much do we have? 100 and we've just lost it. Damn, I was a bit too late on that pause button then. This road's coming down this hill by here. It's going to join up in a minute. And we're going to have to put a circle loop in just to make it work. Oh well. Nothing wrong with that, we can do that. Right, how much for the trains? We were using Baldwin Six Wheel. They're 172,000. I think we can afford that. The problem will be getting the 660,000, not there or thereabouts, to buy the carriages, the tank cars. That's not going to be easy. Uh, 160, what do we need? 172,000, nearly there. Come on, trains. Oh, got it. Right, we now have a locomotive, we just don't have the car house for it. 218,000, that means we need uh, 654,000 to buy three of these. That's amazing, it really is. Right, that train's just delivered, so are any of these going to start making a profit yet? These road lines? Uh, no. Okay guys, so this is pretty tense. Because I've been saving, we got 644,000, it's December 15th. And I'm just hoping we can actually afford to buy three carriages for this train. I'm... I really do hope we can, otherwise we're going to have to wait till like February to get the third one. I don't want to send one out with two and one out with three. So I'm going to play it slowly. Play, slow down. Uh, I didn't want that, I want buy trains. Tank car. One, two, we should be able to do it. Ah, oh, we're only three grand off. And there goes all that tension. <laughs> Although it's doing it quite slowly. Let's speed it up a little. There we go. And set you on the boom. We now have two oil trains. That's good. That is definitely good. Right until we go through the new year and lose all our money. December 29th, 30th. Happy New Year! We're 160 grand in debt. <laughs> oh, wow. Right, the good news is, now we have two trains on the oil line and two trains on the passenger line. 
I think our next endeavour should be buying a new train for the passenger line since it's longer, so the frequency. Let's look at the frequencies. So on the passenger train, it's every 11 minutes. On the oil train, which is there, ooh, it's making quite a lot. It's every seven minutes. Even though it's the same amount of trains, the tr uh, passenger train takes longer because the journey is longer, fairly obviously. And look how many people we got building up now. 20, 32, 12 there. We can certainly justify putting another train on. 19 there. Yeah, I think that should be our next endeavour. But wasn't it like 860,000 to buy the trains, something like that? Either way, it was ridiculously expensive. Yeah. Right, I want to keep an eye on our profits. What's losing us money? The train lines are both doing well. Uh, it's, it's just the RF lines, really. Yeah, we just need the trains to pick up. We need more trains on the oil line. And then all these RF lines will become profitable. That's pretty much it. They're not losing massive amounts, though. Not enough where I'm concerned about it. No, oh, well. Right. How many fuel did you just deliver? Uh, oh, wow. It's quite a lot waiting there. The Mesa. Cypress fuel's not getting any. Not sure why. Doesn't really matter. That's the shortest line, so... Who really cares? Oh, wow. We had 120,000 then, just we went through the new month. Money's definitely building up. How much was it for a general? I think it was 317,000. Buy trains. Yes, it was. Um, passenger cars, 270. How much are these clear store? Yeah, yeah, I don't think so. Baldwins are 700,000. We need our line to kick in and become profitable before we do that. So we need a general, 320,000, and that, 270,000. Yeah, that's a lot of money, isn't it? Hmm, that's not brilliant. Right, one thing I did want to focus on, the fuel, if it's getting shipped by train, it's getting shipped by bulk. The problem is getting the oil down to the fuel plant and at the moment it's just getting carried on the way back with these lines which is fine but I think we should also have a dedicated fuel line although it does seem to be handling it does seem to be handling it okay at the moment you've got a full load you should make us some money how much is it going to make how much are we making on that yeah, it's already our third most profitable line. It's only been there for, well, two years in game, but that's nothing really. And as soon as the second train comes and drops them off, then yeah, we're going to be going to have a lot of money. So I think in another another train line needs to go in. Where though? That's the question. Huh. We could put a passenger route up to Polito. The thing is, I really want to span over this river to Los Santos. And the sooner we do that, the better, because... <laughs> look how big it's growing. How would we get a train station in there? Like, even just to knock down this road, yeah. 320,000, 200,000. That's what we could do. 170,000. Like, yeah, that's ridiculous of it. Just out of interest, how much would it be to put in an underground passenger station? Um, if we put a station there, like that, 108,000. Uh, I really want to do it. What about with a mini entrance? Um, 
where would we put it realistically i want it in the center but yeah that's going to be 150,000. we could afford that we could definitely afford that do it go for it at least then it's there for the future if we don't want to put the train track in now but i do want to put the train track in now this is going to be redonkulously expensive. I didn't even check any of the specs on that station before I put it in. That wasn't very clever. Uh, upgrade, what was it? Depth minus 15. Um, minus 20, we should have went for. Two. Uh, let's put a four in to be sure. 320. Um. Tram track, no. Right, that's going to be 170,000 to put that in. And apply. Right, we got that in. Now we need to bring the train tracks up to the surface. Which, let's use that track. So... 369,000, where's it going there? Uh, okay, just out of interest, since we know it's going to be like a billion pounds to put the bridge in anyway. Do you know what? 1.6 million. That's actually not bad. That's in that track. Because then it goes under the road as well. What about with a good bridge? I'm good. Uh, oh. Thing is, I'm going to put it in. I want a decent bridge. 1.87 million. Do you know what? It's going to take a long time, but I think that is worth it. I really do. It's going to take a heck of a long time to build it up, though. The problem is that this riverbank on this side is so much higher than this one that it costs a ridiculous amount of money to put a track across it. And I genuinely think that's the cheapest option. Or at least the most, the best option. It's just going to take forever to put in. Um... 1.9 million though, that's a lot of money. How much is it with that bridge? Same price, oh. Yeah, same price, I do like that bridge. Okay, I'm gonna get saving. This is gonna take a while, so I'll bring you back. It's probably gonna be 1880, 1881 or something like that, but I'll bring you back then. Okay guys, so we're nearly there, and when you were gone, this house by year decided to build itself, so now it's even more expensive. But we can still do it. We just need another 120,000. Sounds a lot worse like that. <laughs> right, come on, we can do this. Any trains coming in? No. There we are. Just need 50,000 more, 40,000. Come on, you can do this. Ooh, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. I think we can do it. I hope we can do it. Please do it. Come on, it's the end of the month. There, going in. Right, now we get to do the fun part. Line, pause, because we can use that train there. So after La Mesa, you go in there and back to La Mesa. Perfect. Now, <laughs> why wouldn't I? We are going to ride this train in. Go. So into the industrial part of town, which actually looks really cool. And lots of people waiting at the station. I doubt any are going to get on because no one wants to go to Los Santos yet. But over the bridge, that bridge does look awesome, doesn't it? 
and into the tunnel. I do like that. The transition from bridge to tunnel. The tunnels look so much better after that update they did. They just look so much cooler. And we're coming into a platform. Is this the one which actually shows the platform? Because one of the underground mods does, this one does. The other one doesn't. It just goes into basically an empty slot. Oh, that's so cool. Not perfect, but cool anyway. One thing we do need to do, we need to put transport links in. That just occurred to me. Oh. Oh, that's convenient. We built it right next to a bus stop. I didn't even plan that. Oh, well. That means we can get on board with this. I just want to see a poke back through. That's so awesome, the transition from tunnel to bridge. That means we can have houses right on the riverbank for there when the city's built. That's going to be so cool. And how many people are, going to, are on board? Slash going to go... On? Oh my god, we got a full load from Los Santos. What? Are there people waiting at Los Santos? No. It must have been people... Yeah, it must have been a problem when I redid the line or something. It'll sort itself out. Right, how much are we making now? Uh, let's sort it by value. 600,000 on the passenger line. Grapeseed food, 535. Cypress flat fuel, 420. Wink, wink. <laughs> Weed reference, if you didn't get RP Cypress Flats is making us 137 and the Calafia lines are making us 100,000. We are, yes, I'm happy now. I really want that road to connect. I really want to redo this road. How much is it going to be to double track this? I want to double track it and sort the road network out, but that's going to be ridiculously expensive. So, $954,000 to double track that. And the problem is, we can't put too many trains on the line until we've done that. Otherwise, that's just going to be a massive bottleneck But there. And of course, another problem is, it won't let me lay a road across there for some unknown... Oh! Ooh, it let me do it then. It let me do it like that. I am tempted to take that, i got to be honest. That is so tempting to take that that I might actually do it. Because otherwise, it's just going to get to the point where we cannot do without demolishing the entire road. It's expensive, but I think it's worth it. I really do. I think that's the only way we're going to have a level cross in there. So, there, I'm going to pop that in. And... Mm, didn't think that would happen. Oh, well. I'm not going to double track that anyway. I'm just, I just put that in so we could do it later if we need it. I'm not actually going to double track it yet. That's for uh, in the future. My main priority now is getting another train on the passenger line. Because we are up to capacity. Like, look how many people are waiting here. And a train just dropped off. 28 people. And for some reason my graphics are playing up again. Oh well. Let's just hope that doesn't continue. Even at Stab City, we got... 30 people waiting. Anyone at Los Santos yet? What's La Mesa like? La Mesa is 40 people. Yep. Los Santos, still no one. <laughs> Why would they be, you know? It will take a while. Definitely, it will take a while. Let's look at our transport lines. What have we got going to the train station at the moment? Oh. Not particularly brilliant. Although, the Stab City line does go there. That's pretty good. Um, and the LS Finewood line. So we've actually got fairly good coverage. Hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. I must say, I think that looks so cool by there. Either side of the road, like that. I think that looks absolutely awesome, especially when we have more tracks in in the future. That's just, that's so cool. Imagine driving down that road and having train tracks on either side. That'd be pretty raw, especially if it was like a train spotter or something. Uh, how's Polito Bay doing the fuel line? Because it was broken last time. It's getting 17% of its needs. How's that line doing now? It's a, still not brilliant. I think it just needs to spread out a little bit more. Uh, what's the reason for me? Cypress Flats Fuel. 
and that's kind of expected. That's the really short line by there, I think. Yeah. I'm not really surprised that's losing money. In fact, you know what? Uh, you go on to LS Fuel. Right, so looking around, something I've noticed is that Cypress Flat Fuel is not running at capacity. Like, granted, it should only have be half full because one train's on the way back. So it should have 21, but it only has 19. And if we go back up to the actual station itself, you'll see that there's a lot of fuel, there's a lot of oil waiting up here, <coughs> up here excuse me, and not much fuel down here. We need a more direct route to carry oil back and forth. So I'm gonna put in a road, only a small country lane. As you know, medium country lane and if we can uh, I'm gonna pop it in will it go for there no nope. huh. okay we're just gonna work with what we got we're just gonna put in a new line it's gonna go from there to there uh, this can be black and this is going to be uh, RF Ron Oil Transfer. Yep, press enter then and nothing happened. And it's a highway, so the vehicle should get there pretty quickly. Where's the defo? There it is. By road vehicles. Let's use American horse carts. One, two, three, four, five. Not enough for six. Let's have five to start with. Where is it? There it is. They should get straight on the highway and go north. No, I didn't want to rename you. So there they all go. Here comes a train. Look at that. How many people we got there now? 70, 60, 70. Yeah, 70. Like, seriously? <laughs> Just ridiculously, man. Oh, well, no, it was 62, actually. My maths has gone terrible since leaving school, you know. 45 grand we just got for that drop-off then. Anyone waiting at Sandy Shores yet? Uh, Los Santos, even? Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. That must have built up in a month. Like, I looked at that not that long ago, and there was one person there. Jesus Christ. Yeah, we need another train. Badly. We just, we really cannot afford it. We're like 220,000 short. Ah, uh, this is bad. Let's look at our profits. Right, Pleto Fuel, you're just, why are you doing with your life? Seriously. We need a train or something for that. <sighs> that is... All of the fuel lines have gone down. Where's Sandy Fuel? I can't see it. Uh, there. All of our fuel lines are losing us money now. That ain't good. Something happen with the production? No. Line usage? No. What the hell are you talking about? It's because there's too much stuff here. Ah, damn. And now it's not going to come back till... It should come back at the end of the month, actually. July 31st, August 1st. Nope. Oh, uh, that's a problem. Okay. Uh, you. Why can't I do that? Oh, we haven't got enough money. Come on, come on game. 14, there we go. Should start working now. End of the month, the line usage should come back. That is so annoying. Okay, something really bad is happening. Pretty much 
like half of our lines have just randomly gone negative. And I don't know why. What the hell? It must be because of that. That is a problem. Damn. Line used to just come back, so will the... Right, the lines are starting to come back now, I think. What about the train line? Where's the train... Right, the train line's still working fine. That's what's important. Plate of fuels losing us like 70 grand. Damn, that is not good. In fact, that's really, really bad. Uh, we need to start relying more on trains because they are more reliable. They're just more expensive as well. And I think that's the mistake I made in the last series. I put too many trains in too fast. So we essentially had no money to buy more trains. And just we're starting to dig out the way out of the hole. I decided to make a new series because why not? Uh, 243,000. We've actually nearly got enough for the train now. But of course, it's the end of the month, so we're going to lose most of that. So, yep, there you go. Right, the lines are still broken, but I think it's going to take a while to knock on. Uh, are the vehicles for the Ron Oil transfer there yet? Yes, they must be. I think that's them. They're all bunched up. No. Nope. Yeah, there's one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, that's pretty funny. Oh, look at that. We're about to get an upgrade to that oil farm now. We sorted the... Kind of sorted the thing out. Thing, that's a good description. The um, depot. No, not depot. Truck stop. Sandy Shores oil. Well. It's not really Sandy Shores, is it? Oh, well. Nothing I can really do about that. I really want to get that train, but it's not going to happen this month either. I'm pretty sure of that. I know, we might get 40 grand in the meantime. Nope, there it is. <laughs> oh, this game likes to screw with you. Our lines are slowly coming back. Uh, right, if we don't get it this month, the train, we're not going to get it. No. Ah, you... I told you, this game likes to screw with you. It really does. It, it really, really does. I really want that new passenger train, but I just don't think it's going to happen. In this episode. I tell you what, guys. I'm going to save up. I'm going to end the episode here, I'm going to save up, I'm going to try and get to the bottom of what's breaking these lines, I think they are coming back though, and then next episode will be a bit more structured, a bit less chaotic, I say that but all of my episodes ever have been unstructured and chaotic, but it's good to keep telling myself that. Anyway, I'll see you next time guys, so make sure you come back then, and... Well, yeah, I'll see you then, I suppose. Peace out, guys.